Did you know that the original Bunny song for VeggieTales actually was a lot darker, having lyrics like I won't go to church, and I won't go to school, that stuff is for sissies, but bunnies are cool. Of course, the original Bunny song was met with backlash. And then someone else wrote in and said, I heard my kids out in the yard singing with their friends. I won't go to church and I won't go to school. But oh man, this is backfiring. It's the song they're not supposed to sing and it's so catchy they're all singing it. So they decided to re-record it and make the new and improved bunny song or the redeem bunny song. Yeah, I'll go to church and I'll go to school. That stuff is important and I but even that version didn't really work 100%. So they decided to re-record it one more time and now we end up with the bunny song that we know today. So then we decided we had to go back yet again and record a, an improved version of the bunny song, with, which is still bad. Because the tricky thing is it had to be bad so that there could be the good coming at the end when they don't sing it. Uh, we haven't, we, the letters stopped. Once that one started going out, the letters pretty much stopped. So that seems to have done the trick. Now me being a born again Christian, knowing the story of Maverick, Meshach, and Abednego, and watching the making of the bunny song, I understand why they did this. But the main problem is that the melody of the song was just way too catchy. But then to take that melody and put it over the top of it, that's, that's why it sticks in your head. But still, it doesn't matter what most songs, if it have a catchy melody or not, people are going to sing what they want to sing. But if a song has especially a catchy melody, people are going to sing it more because, of course, it's more catchy. But the fact of the matter is that Big Idea at the time re-recorded the song twice shows that they really want to help kids, but also want to stick to God's word. Now keep in mind, this particular VeggieTales came out near the late 90s to early 2000s and 3D animation was very hard at the time and I believe around only 5 people in particular animated this particular VeggieTales. Me, I hope you enjoyed this brief history about VeggieTales. And remember, God made you special and he loves you very much. I hope you all have a God blessed day.